Hey, welcome to Men's Talk. Um, it's another edition. Uh, this time, I just got thinking about um, our priorities as men. And um, from my observation, it seems to me that most priorities of men is how to make money, which is good, don't get me wrong, it is very good. Except that, um, what about our households? What do we think is our priority to our household, our children particularly? You know, sometimes when I read the story of Moses growing up, I ask myself, um, where was um, Moses' father? Where was Moses' father? Many of us may not even know his name. Where was Amram when Jochebed was training up Moses? The Bible was silent on Amram. And one of the things many men don't know is that um, the responsibility of training up your child is the Bible gives it to the man. The man is expected to be the one to train up, to impact the child of the values of life, not the woman. See, in the, I know in many cultures, women are the ones that, that are pushed to train up the child. The man is the one that goes to look for money and the woman is the one to train up the child. And the man thinks, okay, the moment I make the money, I'm giving the money, you uh, train up the child. That is not the way it's supposed to be in the scriptures. Let me tell you one of the secrets of blessings in the scriptures is in Genesis 18, 19. In fact, that reveals to us why God picked Abraham. If you read Genesis 18, 19, then you understand one of the reasons that God picked Abraham. He says, I have chosen Abraham because he will be the one to teach his children and household the children his children and household the way of the lord then the next verse uh, the next uh, part says so that i will do what i promise for abraham so so that i will do what i promise in other words abraham's blessing being blessed of god rested upon how much he trained his household the way of the Lord. Now, I know women, women are busy and we have a lot of things to do. You know what I counsel men and what I'm just going to share with you to, today is that you may not be able to give your child quantity time. You may not have all the time in the world, but give your child quality time. In other words, you may not have hours upon hours upon hours to devote to your child. Maybe for that matter, like their mother will be. But you give your child quality time. In other words, when you are with him, be with him. When you are at home, be at home. Don't spend the few minutes or hours that you're going to be at home, don't spend it on the newspapers or TV. And they run to you and say, oh, don't disturb me, I'm tired. Go away, go away, go away. Then again, the next moment you have gone out again to all God knows where. Give your child and your children quality time. Quality time. So that even if you don't have spend 10 hours with them, if it is one hour you're spending with them, let it be quantity. Let, sorry, let it be quality. Let it be something unforgettable. Make memories with your children. Make memories, not money. Don't just give them, okay, I'll give them money, that's okay. Make memories with your children and you'll be amazed as to how they're going to turn out. Yes, that is men's talk today. I'll see you another time. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel if you have not done so. At David Kola Okeowo and God will bless you. See you then.